So this video is going to be 13 random questions and I saw this um, video on Gems Machia's channel, um, Gemma, um, so thank you Gemma for giving me the idea because I really liked the um, tag and I thought it would be really interesting and different. Um, okay, so I'll get started. Uh, what do you order at Starbucks? I, I have free drinks that I, I'll go for and it depends how I'm feeling. So the first one is, um, <laughs> wait. Soya ice caramel latte, and then the other one is um, caramel hot chocolate, and the other one is a caramel frappuccino. So you can tell that I like caramel. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really bad for you though, but it's so nice. Um, what is one thing in your closet you cannot live without? Ooh, uh, that's hard because there's loads of things that I can't live without. But I think if you watch my channel, then you will probably know that it's tights. I think. If you give me tights, I can try, I can kind of put some kind of outfit together using tights. Um, yeah. If not that, then just a plain tank top because it's so easy to, um, you know, work with. Um, what What's one thing that most people probably wouldn't know about you? Since I was little and kind of still now, I'm really into astronomy. Um, just for some reason, I've always been really interested in space and just everything to do with space, like the planets, galaxies, and it sounds really stupid, but I mean, it's just always amazed me and I've always wanted to know more about it. And at school, I used to love physics because I loved that we um, learned about that because I found it so interesting. Um, so yeah, what's one thing you want to do before you die? Oh, that's hard. Uh... I think maybe visit as many places as I can, um, maybe as, it, the, bleh. the thing is I don't really want to, I'm not interested in like going to travel for ages, but I'd love to visit like as many countries as I could, because I think it's so important to, I don't know, just understand and experience different cultures and, you know, how they live and it, it like gives you a more of an open mind as well in life I think um so yeah maybe to go and visit everywhere but my one thing I really want to do at the moment is to go to Las Vegas I so want to go there what's one food that you cannot live without <laughs> uh, I don't know maybe salad that is so but bleh it's not cool but <laughs> okay either pasta or salad because when I feel like I've eaten too much crap I'll like have a salad. I just, I really, really like salad anyway. So yeah, and you can make different salads and it's like, yay. <laughs> That's so rubbish. Oh, pizza. Okay, good for for good food, salad, for naughty food, pizza. I, pizza is amazing. What quote slash phrase do you live your life by? Um, it's really usual and like, I think many people have this one, but you only live once because whenever I am thinking of doing something or or um, worried about something, I'll just be I'll just think you only live once. Just do it. Um, you might as well. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. It's really raining outside, so I don't have much light. I've just got this massive light here. <laughs> what do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? Um, I love that anyone can come on here and share anything they want. I love that and I love that there's so many different personalities on here, so many different people um, that you can relate to and everyone has the same interest in this community. Um, and But the thing I dislike about it is, hmm, the judge, the people, I don't know, the way people get judged so harshly and the way that the thing is, because I have blog blogspot and I I have a blog page and I have YouTube, and I find that YouTube has so much more hate than blogging. I don't know why that is, but for some reason YouTube tends to just have a lot of people that want to be negative on it. So that's the bad thing about YouTube. But but yeah, if you're putting yourself out there to like you know thousands of people, it's gonna happen, isn't it? The negativity. So yeah, that's all really. Um, what's your number one most listened to song on iTunes? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, when I first saw this question, I wanted to find out what my one was. So, I mean, when I first watched um, Gemma's video. So I went on it, my iTunes, okay, I'll go on it now. And it's actually, okay, right. I don't know why it is this one, but my top played is, <laughs> is Seasons of Love by Rent, that is in the Rent musical. And I don't even know why because I haven't even seen Rent, I just really like that song, but I didn't know that was the most played. And then um, some other top ones are Do It Like A Do, Jessie J, and Can't Be Friends, Trey songs. What kind of style would you define yourself as having? Um, I find that really hard to answer because my style's kind of mixed. Um, I don't, I don't know. My style, I'd say, is, um, yeah, it has sometimes like a grungy vibe to it, but it's not that all the time like as you like today I'm wearing like a flowy peach shirt I, I really don't know how to explain it um I'd like to say sometimes that it's kind of chic but chic isn't my whole look because you can tell sometimes I'm not like that but do you know what I really don't know if you know how to explain it let me know down below because I really don't know how to explain my style favorite number for some reason it's number nine I just have liked number nine since I was small I don't know why two hobbies YouTube, definitely, and <laughs> I really don't do much, hobby, hobby, oh, oh, I love going to the cinema, that's not really a hobby, but, hmm, I just, I love films, I'm like such a film, like, weirdo, like, I just, <laughs> I just really, really like watching films, and I really appreciate them, two pet peeves, oh, I was watching someone else's, and mine is actually the same, I hate when I don't like when people, when you do something for someone like in the street or you, you'll move out of the way to let someone go past and they totally ignore you and it's like you obviously went out of your way to help someone and they don't say thank you and I just, I hate rudeness. I think probably rudeness is that one of them. And then another pet peeve, <laughs> this is bad, but like another pet peeve is slow drivers. And I'm not a really, really fast driver, but when, and, and the bicycles on the road, and I'm really sorry if you ride a bike, but it's really, it really does annoy me a bit. I don't know. Anyway, um, slow drivers, like, because I'm really not a slow driver, but the area I live in, there are so many slow drivers around, so it really, really, like, just cheeses me off, you know. Um, <laughs> guilty pleasure. Mm. Guilty pleasure. Hmm. I don't really have one. Maybe uh, this... <laughs> I can't think of anything, but maybe, maybe it's shopping, but that's not guilty, but I just love going shopping, but then afterwards I feel guilty because I spent, like, money. Um, that is so rubbish. I just, I don't really, you know, read a lot of gossip magazines or, like, watch a lot of trash telly. Is that, does that even make sense? Like, I don't, I don't really watch that much telly, so I have nothing, like, guilty pleasure -y about that. So I can't really think of anything. So it's probably just like going and spending quite a lot of money and then <laughs> feeling guilty. It won't, it could sometimes not even be a lot, but then I'll feel gu guilty for what I brought. Anyway, so that is all. And I tag, I tag everyone. So if you're watching this, I tag you, you're tagged. Get to it. Um, but I also tag um, Barbara from The Persian Babe. And I tagged David J. Pole. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love doing tags, they're fun, so, yeah. And if you do this as a tag, post it as a video response. Okay, have a nice day. Bye, guys.